Oh hey, I'm Devin, and welcome to my jungle, my canna jungle. What I love about it, it's one of the fastest growing plants, creating this gorgeous foliage just like this in mere weeks. It's also one of the easiest plants to plant. So let me show you guys exactly how to plant these babies up. All right, so when it comes to cannas, what you start with is something called a rhizome. Now a rhizome is a subterranean stem, sub meaning under, terra meaning in this case soil the earth so it is basically a stem that goes underneath the earth so you can see this canna right here the stem goes down 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 and there is the rhizome oh look it is so shallow you know what that means it is easy to plant all right so when it comes to the rhizome they always go horizontally that means flat because you want them to be along the earth so that they can shoot stems upwards but it doesn't matter if it's like this or like this or like this or like this it doesn't matter there it'll all be fine okay so now we have our nice fresh pot of soil and i love planting cannas in soil in containers that you put on your porch on your patio um, especially like a western facing balcony or western facing porch because when the sun is setting over the cannas. It creates this beautiful kind of illumination. Um, so, so what you saw, I just planted it about an inch deep, one inch deep, that's all you do. Then you give it fresh water. You wanna make sure that that canna root is saturated. If some of the canna becomes a little bit uh, popped up above the soil line, just put a little bit extra, just to kind of nestle it down in there. And then to go from something like this into something like this, this is about 40 days old and then to go from this to something like this is just another few weeks these are one of the best plants to add along your outside patio garden container gardens to create gorgeous lush foliage really quickly that looks good for months and months it's not just a couple weeks of flowering that it looks cool no it looks good from you know springtime till your first frost and one tip that you can do um, so many cannas, most cannas will produce flowers, but in my estimation, it is the lush foliage that really makes them stand out. So if you want to increase your plant's ability to produce that lush foliage, what you can do is take your shears and just cut the flowers off. When you do that, that sends all of the energy into the foliage rather than producing flowers, which require a lot of energy. Now at the same time, you can leave some flowers like this, cut others off, do what you please, because as we know, when it comes to gardening, you do exactly as you like. And if you would like to add some lush jungle energy to your home garden, in containers or in the ground, cannas is an excellent choice. Anyways, I'm Devin Walling with Roberta's. If you like this video, go to qvc.com, search Grow with Roberta's, and you'll find some of my personal favorite cannas. See ya.